So we all get string algae and fuzzy rocks in our ponds. Lots of different products out there for dealing with this. They're oxy-based products, more of a contact algicide, or the white powder products that you sprinkle on the algae to kill it and bubble it off, particularly on the rocks and stream areas and such. So I'm gonna look at a generic product we can do. So with our ponds, our swim ponds, backyard ponds, we all get string algae forming around the edges on the rocks and the stream and waterfall. Lots of different ways to deal with this. A lot of the products are a white powder, an oxy-based product. Basically oxidizes the algae off of the rocks when the powder hits the water and breaks down into uh, hydrogen peroxide and other compounds and bubbles things off. So. You find these in the pond trade under various names, uh, D-Solve, EcoBlast, lots of stuff out there. Basically what I've found digging into some pond um, koi forums, we can buy large bags of the stuff. Might not be the exact same, but does the same job. This here is a sodium percarbonate. So this giant um, bag of the stuff, I think is $100, $120 or so, which you can spend real fast on a few little tins if you go uh, to your, your branded pond material. So, you know, this bag I've had for a few years. I like to use this, it basically does the same job. You can find it at a local chemical supplier. This is outside of Toronto, Ontario, a company that sells all sorts of industrial chemicals and such, and they'll sell this to anyone and ship it to you or you can pick it up. Quite safe product used in a lot of soaps and detergents. It's like similar to your OxyClean you use in your laundry. One of the ingredients, so works well here in the pond. Let's just show how we use that to remove algae from the pond. So with this stuff, you know, you want something small, old coffee cans. You're not working out of this bag all the time. You can keep this a coffee tin in where you keep all your, your pond maintenance supplies along with your bag, right? You'll see it looks pretty much like the same stuff, right? We're using the same method to sprinkle in on our rocks and pond algae. We'll see how it floats off and what we do to clean that up. I don't know if you can see through the glare, get our typical bits of fuzzy string algae along the edges. Also some moss, which I don't mind as much, but if it gets a little too excessive, we'll pull that out. Typically, if you're gonna do your stream or waterfall, you'll shut the water off first, but to allow the powder just to sink straight down and settle to the bottom where you want it to take effect. Where I am here, there's not that much movement, so this will still move through quite all right. I'm gonna actually get in with the powder and sprinkle it on. We'll watch what it does in a couple spots here on the pond. You want to be careful not to get it on the leaves of your lilies or your submergent plants or any plants as it hits the water and oxidizes it will damage the leaves so if you go too crazy with the stuff everywhere and get it all over all your plants you're, you're gonna kill them so basically just get burnt out If I was a little more proactive, I'd get in here and remove more of this by hand first. And throw it out of the pond. 
and then you're using the powder just to get the residual what you weren't able to pick up and get rid of but for the sake of this video let me show what this does see the water still enough that everything can settle down you watch it drop to the bottom you can be pretty specific with where you're making it drop to provided it's not a super windy day and your waterfall isn't really cranked up or you have it turned off even better You can see it landing and sitting right into the, the hair of the string algae. And we'll get to see what it does as it really starts to bubble up. So using these Oxy products is definitely a situation of things looking temporarily worse before they look better. I used about three of those coffee cans of the product here. Try to cover the main areas I was interested in. And you'll see across the whole pond it doesn't look all that appealing right at this point in time. It's bringing a lot of stuff up to the surface globs of moss and algae. They'll also pick up smaller debris. It'll even bring leaves up to the surface that are sitting down below if it lands on them. So it helps on you're not going to do this right before you have company coming over for a swim. You want to have the wind going in the right direction towards your skimmer if you can. really see what it does when it brings up the algae and kills it off. I would typically leave it for 20-30 minutes or so. Let it really get down there and all bubble off. After which time you can grab your, your pool net. Scoop as much off the surface as you can. Sort of while moving it towards the skimmer when you do that. It's also good to use your long-handled brush. The product works well to eliminate some of the slipperiness. If you have entry steps or rocks or the shallow end, it's a little bit slippery. Sprinkle this over those areas and give it a little brush off to remove that layer of biofilm that makes uh, things slippery. Be a little safer that way. We'll take a look at this after another 10-15 minutes and start sweeping a bit off.
So, relatively straightforward, but you want to make sure you do it right. And clean up your pond pretty quick. You put an hour into that in, on this, which is a this is a big pond, 30,000 gallons. Um, you can do a good job, get things cleaned up. Hold off, don't do it right before people are coming over. You want to do this maybe in the morning or the day before or you know, a couple times a year. And definitely the time if you have a variable speed pump, once you're done sweeping and skimming, crank up that pump, let it run real fast for the day and pull all this debris through. At the end of that, a uh, day or two later, you're for sure going to want to empty out your skimmer baskets. Give your bead filter a backwash if that's what you have. If you have a biofalls type of biofalls system, you'll want to pull that apart and give everything a good hose out because it's going to be full of a lot of this material that comes uh, floating up and pulled through the skimmer. Uh, pressure filter, same deal. Give it a rinse, give it a backwash and let everything settle back out, get filtered back through and your pond will be in a better state. The algae gone, at least for a while, and the slippery surfaces, not quite so slippery. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it.